What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vince and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're back to Man Goes Out for Milk Lee's family for 23 years. To my dad that left him milk but let him have left when i was seven years old and tried to come back 23 later with a gallon of two percent milk in his hand we're gonna have a problem because first of all it's seven people in this house you came back with one gallon what get up out of here bro get up out of here you don't lost your mind we go through one gallon a day what is that gonna do? It took you 23 years to get one gallon. What, all, all the stores was closed? What, what, it was Christmas all year round, you couldn't find no milk? It was a milk shortage? You didn't lost your rubber mind on coming with no milk, you might as well came here at the end and talking about I just wanted to leave. Bruh. Why would you do that? So we finna get into this video and see a man go out for milk and leave his family for 23 years and return, so let's get into it, let's go. BBC ran this story about this guy named Richard who went out for milk one night back in 1993 and decided, Welp, there's about as good as time as any to leave the old family. So Ignorant. he called his wife and said he was going to the hospital sick, and when she called over to the hospital, there was absolutely no trace of her husband. Essentially, he absolutely ghosted these poor people he was calling his family. I guess that's one way not to pay child support. <laughs> 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 Wanna get away, looking ass. <laughs> because his sons what? were only nine and six at the time, so this was a pretty big decision this dude kind of just made on the fly. He didn't even take his passport or toothbrush or anything like that. Uh. He was really just trying to get the fuck up out Indiana. What did you love about him? Um, he was a lot of fun to be with. She said, Rick's God. I said, God, where'd he go? They found his car abandoned at the airport. They said no one with his name had ever traveled on the airline. And that was pretty much it. Richie was gone to never return to his family again. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's a part that the wife is leaving out. I know it just started and she didn't get really get a chance to talk, but it's no way she didn't notice this man did not like his family. It's no way for him to just do all this, go through all this planning to disappear for 23 years. He must have really not liked them. And one day your dad was there, the next day, gone. Gone. I thought, you know, initially you think, okay, this will this won't last too long. He'll be back. But still, the next summer, he sent his sons a birthday card along with $50. That's Maybe ignorant. sometime soon, we will get to see each other. I bet I won't even know you. It has been so long. Mind your mother. Bye. Those words, the last they ever heard from dad. Jesus, Hallmark really needs to start thinking about adding this one to their holiday section for all the deadbeat dads out there. His family <laughs> lost absolutely everything after he left. The house, their oh. fancy cars. Oh. They were no longer able to go on extravagant vacations like they were used to. Basically, they had to be the same as everyone else. Aww. Poor. Big Bird over here was raging because her daughter got dropped like a bad habit. She's our daughter. And I'm a parrot. And I'm a parrot. And I had to help her. And after 10 years what? of Richard not being around, the state finally declared him deceased after his family was forced to move on with their lives without a father and husband. Her kids even suspected that she might have something to do with his disappearance, and a lot of people questioned her innocence. That uh -oh. was until a private detective dug up some information like a girlfriend checking some old Twitter favorites. And 23 years later, this son of a bitch was found. No, not that son of a bitch, you idiot. This son of a bitch. Oh! I'm glad to hear that he was still alive. She don't care. I don't remember that feeling. Oh, you know this lady was seeing red. She probably wanted to be the one to kill this motherfucker Richie Rich once and for all. They got the guy arrested. He came back from the dead to haunt her soul. And in case you're wondering, he wasn't some hitman for the last 23 years. Or he didn't enter the witness protection program for witnessing some crazy crime or anything like that. This kind of turns into a fishy story because the dude was literally hiding out in Florida under a stolen identity of a dead fisherman. I gotta say, at this point, this sounds like a plot to a great fucking movie. Richard it does, but a dead fisherman. Come on now, I'm not detected for anything, but I'm starting to connect some dots. He killed him. I only see one suspect. You have his ID. He's been gone and missing for 30 months. 30 months, 30 years. Oh! 
You killed him. England was pretending to be a dead fisherman. Terry Szymanski killed in a freak boating accident in 1991. It was like, catch me if you can, not quite as glamorous. And so you're probably wondering how the guy did it. Well, he escaped to Florida and managed to steal this man named Terry Szymanski's identity after obtaining his death certificate. From there, he managed to get a birth certificate, which made him eligible to get a driver's license. And after that, he was pretty much all set. He bought a house, remarried another woman, and this motherfucker even had another son. Everyone trying wow. to wrap their heads around how someone can disappear, live alive for 23 years, and get away with it. He owns multiple homes, multiple mortgages, cars. He got married, had a child, has a pilot's license, owns a plane. It's that easy. This was some time ago. Is it not that easy anymore? I would hope not. And he had absolutely everybody tricked. Even his new family knew nothing about his false identity or his past life. To them, he was Terry Szymanski, amazing father, amazing lover, and even better fisherman. When his new wife would ask him questions about his past, this man was just an absolute beast at lying apparently, because his high and out skills were matching that of Bin Laden. But I think we got him, coach. <laughs> He was a landlord and we talked to some of the tenants there and they just said he was a, a, a good landlord, nice guy, and nobody had anything unusual to say about him. Nice guy, I, who would have thought? I would have never guessed it was him. So this dude didn't get caught up for a whole 23 years. That is until the real Terry Szymanski's nephew was looking for him on one of those ancestry sites and what discovered that his dead uncle had apparently gotten married four years after they had put him six feet in the dirt. Hmm. Something doesn't seem to add up here. Inspector Gadget shows up to his Florida residence the next day with the death certificate of the real Terry, and he dropped an absolute bomb on Richie's life, because this guy will now be locked up for many years for identity theft, and when he wow. was questioned about why he left his original family, he really just blames it on relationship issues with his ex-wife. It's kind of ironic because now he has to leave his new family and his new kid behind once again. What a fucking loser. I believe that he got caught up with the wrong people. Got carried away and over his head and something. I mean, I wonder if that's because that's a better thing for you. How many years is identity theft? How many years is that? Do I need to Google that? Hold on. Sentence for identity theft. All right, let's see. Illinois punishment for identity theft is one to four years in jail. Come on, a class three felony. Well, below three hundred dollars, class four felony. Class 3 felony is 2 to 5, class 2 felony 3 to 7, and class 1 is 4 to 15 years, bro, y'all doing too much. Oh. I'm not going to y'all doing too much. It's a difference. Hold on. Hold on. L let me explain this, all right? If this person is dead, okay, he does not need his identity no more. He is gone. He is gone, bro. He don't got no family attached to his strings, you know what I'm saying? Nobody he harming by taking this dead man identity. By all means. Go for it. Like, wow. I don't care. Like, I'm not giving him one to four years if I'm the judge. I'm not giving him one to four years for identity theft. I really don't care what he do. I guess that's why I'm not a judge. They believe then he actually just left you all. No. Damn, man. Why do you have to do the son like that? His pops had already left him and the reporter's just rubbing it in like packing salt into a dirty wound. But don't <laughs> worry, kids, because Big Bird gets the last laugh today. So he's in a bad place. Yes. He can't stand to be confined in any one place and now he can't go anywhere. It just kind of tickles me a little bit oh it tickles me too grandma this guy richard is just an absolute tool for leaving his family yeah and he is he bogus absolutely what he deserves in prison if you know what i mean it's not right for anyone to leave their kids like this and overall this guy is just kind of the ultimate deadbeat dad i have this ring this is my dad's ring that's it i do wear it for the most part every day but i think i wear it to remind me of what not to be yeah, it's bad amazing example. that okay. back in the day, you could really just get a second chance at life like this by stealing someone's identity. He got this death certificate so easy, he turned it into a birth certificate, turned it into a license, and now this man was just, you know, living like the Sims in a whole new life. But what do you guys <laughs> think? You know, what would you think if you were this kid? I think I'd go over there, I'd take this dad's ring, and I'd punch him in the face. I oh. want to thank you guys for watching the video. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a lot more fire coming soon, so hope you're ready for that. Please drop a big like and subscribe today. As always, thank you guys for watching, uh. and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. I would be mad. I'm not gonna lie. I would be very mad, especially if he started a new family. But I'm I'm pushing 35. I'm not gonna lie. I got my own kids now. I'm really it's really just gonna be in the back of my head. I'm like I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not gonna be holding a, a a grudge like this 90 year old grandma. He didn't leave you, grandma. He left your daughter. 
So you can calm all that down. Act like you left you, big bird. What do you call her, bro? I, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't trying to go in on her, but I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not defending him. He's ignorant. I'm not going to lie. He's ignorant. First of all, he if he wanted to leave them, he could have just left. You know what I'm saying? He could have just been like, hey, you know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, I don't like your mom. I'll keep in contact with y'all, but your mom is over with. We're done. You know what I'm saying? He could have just did that. That happens all the time. But instead, this man just said, ah, forget it. I'm finna ghost her. And I need to get out of here. Ah, I don't want her to track me down. Oh, but he would have to pay child support too. So, um, I, I don't know if that's what he was trying to avoid or what, but hey. That's ignorant, my guy. So, I don't know, man. What y'all think about it? Like, how would y'all feel if y'all dad left for milk for 23 years? Would y'all be mad if he resurfaced and y'all found out he wasn't dead and all this? Let me know in the comments. Y'all know the DeAndre video. Too much for combo. Like button, naughty button, subscribe button, all them buttons. Because guess what? <gasps> I dare you. I dare you. Come back after 23 years. You're just going to catch these hands. So we're gone.